Okay, so this is what happens when you put marine ready strip and power wash off the bottom coat of your paint. Um, follow the instructions, it was pretty simple. Apply while dry, wet. Then uh, either scrape or power wash off. So, um, as you can see, some areas came out real clean right down the gel coat. And then it left a lot of paint on there. So, I think I spent 50 bucks on that uh, gallon or quart or whatever I did on it. And as you can see, the red stuff that stained the transom that I sanded yesterday while I was waiting. Um, so, today I went to the big orange box store and bought some of clean strip premium stripper for wood metal and masonry well, you know this bottom paints no fun to sand off I can tell you it took me about three hours to sand the transom um, so I figured I'll give it a shot and I came home started brushing it on waiting about 10 minutes instead of 15 sometimes I had to do it twice um, but as you can see it did a whole lot more work than marine ready strip and this was in two hours and that was an hour of application and uh, two hours of pressure washing so my vote is for the clean strip from the big orange box store. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to sand the bottom of the boat, so yeah, I did put some scrapes, scratches in it with my scraper. Um, I bought a nice scraper, a nice new scraper, was anyways, um, with a sharp edge, so that uh, I can get underneath the paint. Um, there is gonna be a lot of sanding. You can see some pitting in the old gel coat, so that's gonna have to come down pretty far, and I'm gonna have to be skimmed with a bundo and uh, then primed and you can see some other pitting I actually almost got most of it out with just the scraper so um, yeah boy lots of fun anyways just thought I'd show you that so that if you decide you want to use marine ready strip this is what you get <laughs> um, the clean strip not for fiberglass but boy it sure did a really nice job it's comparable so marine ready strip clean strip so three or four hours two hours 